Good morning. This is Nancy from Spirit Creations. And as I was doing a bit of cleaning, I realized, um, thinking about stocking stuffers for some of the people that I love, um, that there are some really fun things that I use every day that would be perfect stocking, stocking stuffers. Um, if somebody were an artsy craftsy person, None of these require a trip into a, an art store or a craft store. These are items that um, I use from other places that are just um, essential, have become essential to me. And I would just dearly love to find them in my socks. So maybe somebody else would too. I'm going to start with um, dollar store type items. Um, here, um, I love Dollar Tree. I have, I think, mentioned before this Avery Permanent Glue Stick. It's acid-free and photo-safe, and it sticks wonderfully, and I've never had anything come apart that I glued with it. Um, and here I can get it at the Dollar Tree. Um, they come four in a package for a dollar, and it's my favorite glue. Uh, stick wise and um, it just works really well. Uh, I don't like uh, the kind that are purple and then turn clear. For some reason I can't get them to stick long term um, and some of the more expensive ones I just haven't had good luck with. Um, you will want to keep um, something to wipe your hands on because because it is such good glue it does get on your um, fingers. Another item from the dollar store are these cosmetic sponges. They come 28 in a package. And again, here I get them at the Dollar Tree. Um, they pull apart and I can't tell you everything I use these for. Um, anything that I don't like to wash out of a paintbrush, I use these for. Um, they're my favorite tool to mix paint with. Um, they do a smooth spread with no brush marks, and I really like that. Um, they are really good for spreading um, clear coats and gloss coats. I really haven't found anything... Um, well, that's not true. If you are doing a really rough surface, you won't want to use these because they do... Um, little chunks start to come out after a while. If you're going to do a rough service surface, you'll want to dab it instead. But these, uh, I use them every day. When I go buy them, I buy them 10 packages at a time. Um, and I, I absolutely love them. Okay, so those are my items from the dollar store. Let's go to the pharmacy next. I was a medical mom for um, more than 15 years. And so I ended up, um, using a lot of medical products because that's what I had. So the first one, um, little dusty are alcohol prep wipes. Um, they come in little packages like you would see in a hospital. Um, this box is less than $5 by a long shot. And, um, I use these to clean up a lot of mistakes. If I have painted something and don't like it, um, if I don't wait too long, I can clean them up with this. The nice thing about these is that I like the saturation level of the alcohol. I do sometimes use alcohol in a bottle, but most of the time I use these. One of the things that I use sometimes in conjunction with them are cotton tipped applicators and these are 
like a medical version of Q-tips. And the first thing you'll notice is that they have a nice long wooden um, handle. And I use those um, for a whole lot of things once I've used the cotton tip. Now, the reason that I like these particular cotton tips is because they don't spread out like um, regular commercial um, tipped cotton swabs. And so they are easier if you're trying to paint a little or I use them in conjunction with this um, to erase mistakes. I open the cotton swab, dab this on, and I can take out even a Sharpie mark um, if it's done soon. Um, I can um, erase um, paint that I don't like, in particular around an image, if I've done something that um, just it is not tolerable to me, which happens quite frequently, I can get them off with this. <coughs> um, I use them for a multitude of things. Um, they come two in a little package and there's 50 packages in a box and they're less than, um, this one says 623. Um, I got it at a pharmacy that's a bit more expensive than others because it's a private pharmacy. Um, but you could get them at a big box pharmacy um, for, for less than that. Although that seems expensive, I think they're well worth it. I really like them. The other item that I get from the pharmacy are my gloves. For some reason... I have um, some issues with some textures. And although I love having paint on my hands, um, I'm not so wild about other things. Um, I don't even mind um, uh, like Mod Podge, those kinds of glues, but there are some other glues that I don't like at all. And I'm, I'm not sure what the issue is, but I always wear gloves. One of the times that I always wear gloves that other people might not is when I spray paint something because I always end up with spray paint on my fingers that doesn't want to come off. And because of the kind of work that I do, I need to have clean hands. And so um, I like to use gloves for that. Um, when you go to buy gloves, there's a few things to keep in mind. First of all, always get powder free. Um, I don't know what the powder inside is, but it's not something that I would want to mix with um, some of the mediums that I use. So powder free is good. Um, I do not have a latex allergy. However, if you don't know about the person that you're buying the gift for, get latex free. Um, and then of course, uh, be cognizant of the size that that you need. These comes in small, medium, large, and extra large. So, um, and that doesn't necessarily um, go with the size of the person. I'm a large person, but I use medium gloves all the time. I get lost in large gloves. So just be aware of the hand size of the person that you're getting them for. These get used all the time. move from there to the hardware store. Love the hardware store. One of the things that I get from the hardware store is this Loctite um, stick and seal glue. It is clear. It is, uh, they have several different kinds, but I like this outdoor adhesive. Um, it tends to stick things and keep them um, together even in cold or hot weather, um, or temperatures, I should say. And I don't have the problem of them coming undone with use, like some other glues. 
So I really like this. Um, I, I don't know many other people who use it, but another artist recommended it and I just fell in love with it and I've been using it ever since. And these are, um, I think $3 and something for this tube. And it, it a little goes a long ways and you can um, get a lot of use out of the tube. Oops, I just jiggled the camera. Okay, one of my new favorite things is a sanding block. Um, this is um, a micro zip sander by Gator. And I will put the information on that um, below the information for the video. Okay. Um, it has a Velcro um, adhesion part and you just simply take a piece of sandpaper that's pre-cut and attach it. Now, I got this less than 10 days ago and it was bright yellow and I have been sanding chairs, I've been sanding um, old medication bottles. Um, it's awesome. Uh, one of the things that I like about it is that it's flexible. So um, as you are sanding, it conforms to the shape of whatever it is that you're sanding. So it's not as awkward as a wooden block. It's small. Um, it does a precise sanding and you have control over um, what you're sanding. It works great on edges, um, book pages. Um, it comes with, uh, I don't know how many strips, but a bunch of strips in several different, um, ranges of, uh, coarseness. I think it starts at 80 and goes to 220. And I have used the 80 to strip old paint and I have used the 220 to do book edges. It works great. Um, this um, I would recommend for anyone. The whole a package, this is probably the most expensive thing I'm going to suggest, um, was nine something. So it's under $10. And as far as I'm concerned, it's already been a great buy. So that's it from the hardware store. Now to the grocery store. Number one, glass cleaner. <laughs> a lot of people use diaper wipes for everything. I am like my big fat wedding father. I am the glass cleaner person. Doesn't matter if it's Windex or if it's another, another this is a, a Kroger brand. Um, use it to, to clean workspace. Use it to, um, clean items before I glue something to them. Um, sometimes use them to, to um, wipe down when I've painted too much and I want to I want to uh, get rid of it. A lot of places that other people use um, diaper wipes. Um, I use glass cleaner. Love it. I somewhere have even um, put it into a smaller bottle so that I have more control over the spray. Um, can't emphasize enough the uses for glass cleaner. Love it. Okay, and side by side with the glass cleaner are Kleenex paper towels in a box. Now, I tend not to use rolled paper towels. Um, I tend to use rags a lot instead. If I'm going to use a paper towel, I like these. Um, I'd like that I don't mess up a whole roll trying to get one out. I can just grab one. Um, they are very thick and so they um, absorb a lot. Uh, they take a lot more wear than most paper towels. and. Um, the other thing about them is they do not have a design on them. 
Uh, and, and although that's fun for some things, a lot of things that I do, I don't want um, the design from a paper towel showing up in it. So um, I love these. They're called Kleenex hand towels. Um, they are a bit pricey, um, but they're a treat for me because I just really like them. That They are just a quality um, item, and I just uh, can't emphasize enough how much I like them. Another item that I really like uh, is a freezer paper. Um, I can't remember that I've ever used this um, for anything related to putting it in the freezer. However, I use it for um, a whole lot of things. I first um, started using freezer, freezer paper um, when I learned from my mom and my sister who are uh, avid quilters that you can make patterns out of it and when you make patterns out of it and you put the shiny side the plastic side down on a piece of fabric and iron it it stays in place until you sew whatever it is that you're making which is really very cool but from there it went to you'll notice that um my workspace is covered with it. It's taped down and every few weeks I put a new piece down. It keeps the glue and the stuff off of my work surface, much like a nonstick sheet, only I don't have to clean it as much as I do a nonstick sheet. And for some reason, I am quite capable of finding things that stick to the nonstick sheet. Um, maybe that's because I like to melt things and I use a variety of different glues and I end up with uh, those sheets being messed up and they're they're fairly expensive. So this is my um, answer to that. This box will last quite a long time um, and it's less than four dollars. Well worth the money for that. And of course, um, the diaper wipes. Um, at, at, use them for a lot of different things, uh, especially getting stuff off my hands when I don't want them on there. It's a long ways from my studio to water, and so I tend to need to clean up um, before I touch something on the way to water. So, um, diaper wipes are, are good for that. Um, I like these new packages that do not come in a box. Um, they feel easier, uh, for me to keep, uh, I guess I don't feel like I'm, I am contributing to a bad environmental thing with this, uh, less packaging. And one last idea that um, <sighs> craft sticks, um, you can get them um, in a variety of different places, including the grocery stores. Um, use them, obviously, to stir paint. That's what these have been used for. Um, but also, um, they become part of projects. Um, I can cut them and use them as a part of a project. Now, I got an interesting set, if I can find one of them. I got mini craft sticks, which I absolutely adore. Um, these came from Tuesday morning. Uh, Tuesday morning has a small section of craft and art supplies that is very fun to look at and this is where I found these they've had them for quite a while and I'm on my second package of them I just really like them so all of these items are less than ten dollars and are essential to my studio and I hope that they might be helpful to you or to one of your friends who is an artist or a crafter uh, thank you for watching 
and I will make sure that you have uh, the needed information as to where you can purchase these items and the names for them um, throughout the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.